So I'm gonna show you two things about the bobbin sensor. So number one, I'm gonna just wind a bobbin that has just a little bit of thread on it. So I can kind of pretend or make that sensor go off right away. Now I'm also gonna show you how you can get all the way, more thread used up on the bobbin. So when you go, when the sensor does come up, it doesn't look like you have so much thread left. And that's all because of that little top lip um, at the kind of the top, maybe, um, Oh, it's about an eighth of an inch, a little bit more than that. So when I start to wind a bobbin, so let's go ahead and we'll slide that over, is I'm going to go ahead and step on the foot control and it's going to start to wind, but it's going to wind at that top lip. As it winds the top lip, then fills it up, then it jumps down and fills the bobbin part. Now, if you were to get the bobbin part to fill up sooner than the lip, what happens is, is the sensor shoots through the bottom part. So as soon as all the thread is out of the bottom part of the bobbin, that's when the sensor comes up. Now, if you know you have plenty of thread left up in that top little lip, don't touch OK on the screen. Just let it stay there and keep sewing. You'll be able to sew further using up the bobbin that you know you have a little bit more thread. You just need to make it to the end of your fabric without having to stop. So as I, I'm gonna kind of do this a little slowly. So as it starts to spin, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm pushing down on that thread. Make it jump down to the bottom part of that area there. And then that means that there was only a couple spins of thread at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I'm gonna go a little further here. Okay, just so it doesn't come undone. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch out my full bobbin with my almost empty bobbin here. And then I'm gonna sew until we get the little message on screen. Okay, cover, okay. Here we go, we'll just take some fabric we've been using. Ah, there it is, it's coming out right now. So there's the OK button, but instead of touching OK, go ahead and sew. We are doing the triple zigzag last year, but you're gonna realize that, I'm gonna just lift up the presser foot. There's not much thread left, okay, on here. But as it went through, it could see through the bottom part. Yes, there's a couple threads still on there, but when I got to the very end, Look how much little thread I had left. Just the last little tail that was up in that top lip. There's, so there's a couple ways to kind of allow the machine to um, let you get to the end of the bobbin and not have so much left on it that you have to waste it or feel like you have to use it up before you switch them out. So that's the trick of the bobbin sensor.